In trampoline zombies, two to six players are zombies trying to rebuild their bodies that fell apart while bouncing. This game was provided to us by Papa Razzo from the Rothole.ca, who received it from Twilight Creations in exchange for an honest review. Each player takes a torso card. Going around the table, you'll draft two dice sheets and place them near one of your zombies' missing parts. Continue until all players have five sets. There are no chits with a six. Rolled sixes do nothing. Separate the body part cards by type, then shuffle each deck. Put them face down near the matching part. On your turn, roll the dice. You're trying to get a pair that matched those chits you placed earlier. If you have a match, draw the card from the middle. You can look at it and either reveal it face up, trigger the effect if any, or hide it face down. If you rolled a pair that matches a face down part you already have, you can replace it. If you didn't roll any matches, all face down cards must be returned to the center. The parts are worth points and most have abilities that help you or hurt your opponent. If you're hiding the part face down, you can flip it over at any time to trigger its ability. Yes, even on another's turn. Once a player has all five parts so their zombie, everyone else gets one last turn. Count up your points and see who wins. Roll dice, choose one to reveal your zombie parts and earn the most points. That's trampoline zombies. This game could fit on a coffee table. Even though the cards go in front of you, your play areas are small. There is not a lot of reading, and math is simple addition during endgame scoring. With the silly theme and gameplay, I'd say kids 7 or 8 years old should be fine. Maybe 6, maybe even 5 depending on the kid. The theme and art are more cute than scary. This is a weeknight game. The box says 20 minutes, and it's true. In our first game, I managed to steal one of the five point limbs from Dad on the final turn. I won the game 13-11. Mom had one point. The rules are very simple, but the rule book could have been written clearer, especially if they expect kids to play this on their own. There aren't many choices. Choose chits, roll and resolve, reveal the card, or keep it hidden. I like the idea of drafting chits, but it doesn't really matter. The dice decide. The rolling in this game is too simple. Give us a Yahtzee style system like King of Tokyo where it feels like our choices matter. The push and luck part is also weak. The best strategy is usually to reveal everything quickly so you don't lose them for nothing, then hope you finish before and with more points than the others. Setup is slow because of the chit draft and also because you have to flip the cards over to see what they are. Instead of the card backs having the same art as the box, I wish it showed the zombie with only that part. It'd be thematic and would also get us playing quicker. Speaking of the cards, they miss a good teaching opportunity for young kids not having an L and R in the leg and arm cards. When I first played Trampoline Zombies, I thought it was cute. The second time, I noticed that my decisions didn't really matter. The third time, I realized there wasn't much replay value. Fans of deeper, more strategic games should stay away. Even those who love party games will likely think there aren't enough laughs and things to do. It's more fun than the cheap plastic games sold at toy stores, but I can't see kids older than 10 enjoying this.